Good afternoon, everyone. So today's lesson, which was today's Monday, October 12th, um, we just went over the genre of drama. So if you have your journal, we did use a journal today, which we're going to be transferring any work that we did onto Google Slides. I have the different sections right here. If you have a five subject, you're going to be going to reading skills first. And if you have a three subject, you're going to go to the second section, which should be reading skills. Okay, and it'll look more familiar if you look at this. Okay, go to this genre wheel that we had created, and we're filling in this section today. A drama, it's a story that is written to be performed by actors before an audience, kind of like Shakespeare, anything with a script, um, something that's performed in front of an audience. They have the dialogue, which is just the, the lines that the actors are saying, okay, the speaking. Stage directions, it tells them where to go. So these might be on the script, but those are those things are not said out loud, they're done. It's like a verb in action. We have different scenes. So it's just like the different settings of the story. And then we have act. So an act is when, say, if you're watching a play like The Lion King, and they have the first section of the show, and then there's like a 10 minute intermission in between, like to go to the restroom or to go get a snack or whatever, you know, and then the next section of the show that is an act so again this is the story the genre we're covering this week dramas next you're going to be turning into the section reading no i'm sorry if you have a five subject journal go to the last section that's stories and questions if you have a three subject journal go to the second section which is again under reading skills if you don't have a journal find a clean sheet of paper you are going to be copying this down. Um, skip lines, write neatly with spaces. Your title is the magic marker mystery questions. And then you're gonna write down first what's in black. Which of the following choices best explains Mickey's reaction to being called into Principal Abrego's office in act one. Now we have our different colors and that's why I have this displayed right here. Okay, the give proof, the inference scene, all of the skills that we need. Now, if I see right here, act one, this is telling me exactly where to go. So I know that my first skill is one and it's a gift proof and I need to reread act number one. And then I go back and I see these words right here, best explains, okay? That's telling me I need to be careful with the distractors and I need to make an inference, okay? I need to make an inference about Mickey's reaction to being called into the principal's office. Okay, so I write my skill right here. And then what am I making an inference about? Mickey's reaction to being called to the office plus my schema. And again, schema is what you already know from your previous life. So if they call you to the principal's office and they say, um, please come over here, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay, all of those things that go through your mind, those are that's your schema. It's what you've already been through, what you already know. Plus this part right here to make a guess, okay? How is he feeling? What is he reacting to? Question two says, which definition best matches the word merit in paragraph five? First thing, I see paragraph five, that's my first skill. Give proof and then the directions for my brain, reread paragraph number five. The second thing, I see a vocabulary word right here. So this is a word meaning question, just like I see here. This is the second thing my brain needs to do. I read the sentence from the story, plus I look it up in the dictionary after that, okay? Context first, and then the dictionary. And then finally, I need to make an inference. I need to make a guess about the word merit, and I see that thing right here. Be careful with distractors. Take a screenshot if, of this if you need to. And then what your homework is, is to transfer it over to slides. This is going to be on slide number, I think it's 39 and 40, and it's on your journal on Google Classroom. So that is what we did today. Finish it by the next day, because I will be checking to see if the shapes are around the words and the directions are there on Google Slides. Pause this video if you need to. And then I'm gonna go over here, and again, this is where it needs to go. You log into Google Classroom, 
and then you are going to classwork and you will find it in my journal and then you open it up and then you put in all the shapes. So that is it and have a wonderful day.